basically we're here having reported to work and uh, very grateful as we assess the situation across the country. We are very grateful that Kenyans have said that the election is behind them. The majority have uh, returned to work. We encourage that. We are still thankful to Kenyans for the peaceful manner in which they turned out during the election. And I continue to appeal to those who have, uh, for one reason or another, rejected the outcome, to go by the principle and the word that I said that at the end of the day, we're all Kenyans. We don't need to fight one another. We don't need to destroy each other's property. We don't need to take life. To our policemen and women, we thank them for the good work that they are doing, but we continue to encourage them to use restraint as they exercise their duties. To our friends who have yet to accept the outcome, we continue to appeal to them that we have extended our arm and a hand of peace and a hand of friendship and for them to use whatever legal mechanisms that have been created by our wonderful constitution to express their dissatisfaction. But I truly believe that there is no single Kenyan anywhere who wants to continue to see violence, looting, and demonstrations that end up destroying property. But if, like I said, there are those who are aggrieved and feel that they are not willing to accept, there are also constitutionally laid down procedures that they can use to be able to express their dissatisfaction while allowing the many millions of Kenyans who wish to continue with their normal life to do so. And mine is really just that appeal. And the police are willing and ready. Say you want to have a demonstration in this place at this time, organize it with the police. You don't need my, my permission or Jubilee's permission. It's there in the law. Just do it peacefully, orderly. Don't interrupt the lives of other Kenyans and express your view. That is allowed and nobody has a problem. But as a government, we will not allow loss of life, destruction of property and looting because many, many millions of Kenyans also are desirous to go about their business as before. So really we are just here reviewing issues. We've had an opportunity also to have a, a session with the Assumption of Office Committee and they've given us their briefing. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to congratulate our fantastic team in London for the great pride and joy they have given many millions of Kenyans coming second in the world. The races yesterday were fantastic. Congratulations, Team Kenya. Pongezi, asante ni sana. Sina mengine, tuashukuru wa Kenya. Turudi kazini, tuwe pamoja, tuwe na amani, tuendeleze taifa letu la Kenya pamoja. Asante ni sana.